I'm just polishing up these uh, frets. This is the Maya Love Telecaster. It's already had a fret level in. Now I'm using a Dremel that I've got hooked up on the on a stand and it runs through this wire, it turns this thing. And there's a little polishing pad in and I've got two different grits of uh, pasty stuff. And I just run over and first I go over it with the blue uh, stuff and then I go over it with the, the white which is a bit finer. You can use uh, metal polish as well. And uh, then I clean them up and you end up with a really high, I don't know if you can really see that, but it's a really high shine. So they're really beautiful, they end up beautiful and you can even do the uh, fret ends and it leaves them really lovely. So I'll be doing that and uh, there's one thing that you should look at and just show you a little bit and uh, this is just one thing you should look out for though when you do this is that your frets can get uh, quite hot and um, you don't want that because the glue will melt and you, you know you might get some uh, if you've glued them in I glue mine in with wood glue tight bond I don't like using the super glue and uh, so I'll do a couple so what you so you don't want them to get too hot so there's two things you don't want to have this thing whizzing look I put it I think it goes up to 50 or something I've got it on 13 now and it's just really you know turning around and what you don't want is to is to have it this because it'll just, uh, they'll get way too hot your frets will get way too hot so what I do is I pull, I'll i polish one and then I'll, I'll put the polish on light and then when I've still got polish on my wheel I'll move the polish up like three and then I'll come back and I'll keep going in between three frets and that way I won't get them too, uh, too hot so I have it on 13. Like put some blue polish on. And it's handy putting your hand around it because it might flick around your workshop. And uh, I'll do these three. So I'll put the polish on. One. And then I'll move to the next. Moving it up that way as well. Now we're going to have a little feel how hot they are. Use a little rubber, then I know where I am. Yeah, check if there's any scratches or anything that I've missed in the frets. Can't see anything. God, they're smooth.
again, we're going over three threats at the same, you know, uh, in one like session, I suppose you could call it. Because we don't want them to get too hot. Now that, you can really feel they get well, hot warm. You don't want them to get hot because the glue will weaken. So you want to be giving them time to, to cool. You do not want to have this running full blast and keep going over it. You just uh, It's hell of a racket though. And you don't really need the uh, this thing. This just saves a lot of time. You can just do it by hand with uh, the uh, paste or I suppose with these uh, things even. So. If you can't see that. Shiny. Let's see if we get a light on it. I'll take some pics.